Hey guys, Beth Bear here and today I've got a monthly pickups video for you. This is my first one and this is for December 2014. Um, I just want to thank everyone for all the support I've been getting since uh, I started my channel, which wasn't too long ago. Um, I'm already at over 70 subscribers and my Xbox One video got um, quite a lot of uh, interest as well. So thank you guys for the support. Um, okay, so this is a monthly pickups video for De December 2014. Also, guys, I hope you had an awesome Christmas. Okay, so first off, um, I got a £40 gift voucher for Tesco's. Um, and when in Tesco's, I was going to buy uh, Sherlock Holmes for the Xbox One. And uh, they didn't have it, so I decided instead to get uh pokemon alpha sapphire version for the 3ds because i i love pokemon games so uh there you have it guys i picked up pokemon alpha sapphire uh next i got lords of the fallen for the xbox one this is the limited edition um i don't know if you guys um know a lot about this but this is um sort of like uh dark souls kind of game it's quite a, a a difficult game uh to get used to i've not played too much of it so far um as i've not had it that long i would say i've only played about half an hour so far um and i've died quite a lot on it so it's gonna be one of those games that's gonna require a lot of patience okay next we have flockers i bought this in game because one of my work colleagues gave me um a 10 pound game voucher and then i have five pounds and a christmas card off another friend um this was on sale for 15 pounds um and i decided to get it uh flockers is kind of like a a lemmings game but with sheep uh I, I hear it's hard because you have to get gold medals on every level. Um, I have I have yet to uh, put this in my console, so uh, I can't wait to start playing it. But it looks really good, so uh, yeah, I picked up Flockers for on sale for fifteen pound. Uh, next we've got Shadow of Mordor. This is the Xbox three hundred and sixty version. Uh, if you guys have seen my um, Xbox One game collection video you'll notice i have this on the xbox one i decided to pick the game up again on the 360 because i absolutely loved it uh this is like one of the best rpgs to come out in uh, 2014 it was absolutely fantastic if you guys haven't played it then uh you guys should totally uh like check out a gameplay video or something like that and see if you you're uh, you it's your kind of thing. I will also be posting a full gameplay through of this. Um, I've been working on it in the past couple of days and it should be up within the next few weeks. So check that out when it's up. <clears throat> next, I got Borderlands the pre sequel for nineteen pounds in Tesco. Uh. I love the Borderlands series and I could not pass up the opportunity to get this game for £19. I thought that was a complete and utter steal. Uh, brand new and everything for £19. So uh, as you can see, th this is still in its wrap. So I, I haven't played it yet, but um, I will definitely get around to playing this one. Next, my fiancé bought me uh, the collector's edition of Bayonetta 1 and 2 for Wii U. I really wanted to play Bayonetta 2. And if you got the collector's edition, you get the first game bundled in with the second game. I absolutely loved the first Bayonetta. It was amazing. So uh, i definitely totally excited to have this collector's edition. Looks amazing. Um... Again, it's one I've not started yet. It sounds so bad, guys, that I have not started a lot of these games. Um, but I've had so many others that I've been playing on the Xbox One that I haven't got around to these just yet. But I'm expecting good things from Bayonetta 2, um, especially with how good the first one was. So that's that. 
Uh, next, when I was in Tesco's the other day and I picked up um, Borderlands and Pokemon, I also picked up uh, a Skylanders minis pack, which comes with um, Sprite and, uh, and you've got the mini version of Jinx, which is Genie. Um, <clears throat> I'm 25 and I'm totally obsessed with Skylanders. It's it's one of those g- games where even I can't resist collecting the figures. So when I seen that they released minis, I was like, oh my goodness, I have to have those. So I picked these up. Again, they were like on offer. So I just had to have them. Over the Christmas period, I also picked up a PlayStation 4 which is then there and it's looking really dusty. I should really dust that, guys. That's dreadful. Uh, So that's my PS4. And yes, it's on top of the box because I don't have any room for it anywhere else. Um, And with that, I got uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare um, Day Zero Edition. And I got Drive Club. And I also got a de- a code for The Last of Us Remastered. Obviously, I can't really show you guys that unless I turn my PlayStation 4 on. So they're all the disc-based stuff I picked up this month. Oh, my Skylanders fell on the floor. Okay, so that's kind of... That's all the disc-based stuff. Now I'll show you the digital stuff that I managed to pick up. If I go to my TV... I can just scroll along and show you guys the... Oh, there's the rest of my Skylanders and other stuff by my TV. My room is a mess at the moment, guys. It's quite embarrassing. Uh, Okay, so... Scrolling across, I've showed you guys most of these games before. But this month, I picked myself up Castle Storm Definitive Edition. Again, I'm yet to play it, but uh, I hear good things. Uh, Monopoly Deal, because it was really cheap and I hear it's a... Really easy thousand game score. There's Lords of the Fallen, which I already showed you the disc for. Uh, there's Game of Thrones, uh, which is a telltale uh, story related game. It's really good so far, uh, but they've only released the first uh, like first act, I guess, or first chapter of the game. That goes the same for Tales from the Borderlands. I also picked that one up, which is another Telltale story related game. And that's also really good. Uh, You can't go far wrong with Telltale, guys. They produce really good, solid games. Going across, we've got uh, Limbo, which I got given for free by Microsoft for uh, buying my Xbox day one. They sent out a bunch of codes to people. And I got Limbo for the one for free. So I've been playing quite a bit of that. Then we've got... Keep going across to see if there's anything new to show you guys. If I go into this section, there is... Pretty sure... um, Monopoly Plus as well. So I've got Plus and Deal. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys most of these last time. I don't know if Never Alone was on there. That's another one I picked up. And I'm pretty sure that's it, guys. I think that's everything I've picked up this month. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching my video. Stay tuned for more um, monthly pickup videos. More gameplay um footage videos unboxings game collections um i'll be uploading a lot more stuff onto this channel so please continue to support me uh leave a comment rate subscribe show your support in any way you can um both positive and negative comments um allowed uh so i know if uh if my videos suck then uh At least I'll know from your comments. Okay guys, thanks for watching.